to enable.org presents mathematical literacy data handling summarizing data data measures right um, this week we have another uh, handout so let's quickly go to that handout and let's just read through it right a little bit larger right measures of uh, we are going to summarize data now so we have organized it first we've gathered it then we've organized it and now we're going to start summarizing it measures of central tendency central means in the middle therefore measures of central tendency means that we look at the different ways to find the middle number of the set of data what we're basically doing is we're getting an average these are there are three measures of central tendency the first is the mean which we often call the average then the median and the mode mean or average to calculate the mean um, is you have to add the data sum of all the data points so we have uh, to add all the data together divided by the number of data items so if we have to calculate the mean of the data below we have to go 16 plus 72 plus 85 plus 81 plus 26 plus 96 plus 28 plus 59 plus 38 plus 44 plus 45 plus 86 plus 51 plus 72 plus 32 plus uh, 34 plus 63 plus 64 plus 68 plus 16 plus 55 plus 74 plus 74 plus 26 plus 84 plus 17 plus 47 plus 94 plus 28 and that gives us 1523 and then we have to divide it by the number of data items which is this 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28. So this 30 is incorrect. So then we go 1543 divided by 28 and that gives us round about 55 if we round to the nearest whole number. This means almost equal to. When finding the median, we find the number or numbers in the middle. After that, the data is, uh, after all the data has been written in ascending order. Okay, so write the data in ascending order. So if we first have to write all the data from smallest to biggest. Uh, we cross out the numbers from back and a number from the front until we find the two middle numbers. The num the, the if there's one number left in the middle, it's the median. If there are two numbers left, we add them together and divide them by two. So what we'll do is we first, okay, so this is our data set. And then what we do is we order it from small to big. Then we go 14 and 96 are friends. 16 and 94. 16 and, so let's quickly just mark them with a color. So 14 and 96 are friends. 16 and 94. 16 and 94. 17 and 80. Whoops, not that. 86. 26 and 85. 26, 84. 26, 81. 26, 8, 78. 28, 72, 33, 72, 34, 59, 34, 55, 38, 51. Whoops, a daisy that I didn't mean. 45 and 38. So what we've done is we just from the ends with match 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 and now we are left with this 44 so therefore the median is 44 okay so if there are two values in the middle what will we do we first arrange from small to big okay friends are 16 96 16 94 17 and 86 26 85, 26, 84, 28, 
and 64 51 and 63 and now we are left with two values 55 and 59 so what do we do is we get basically get an average between 55 and 59 plus them together 55 plus um, 55 plus 59 is 114 114 divided by 2 is 57 so the median is therefore 57 and lastly the mode mode sounds like most the number that occurs the most so let's go there are one two three four 26 is so therefore the mode is 26 now measures of spread Measures of spread means we want to know how wide the numbers in the data set is spread. To find this, we calculate the range. The range is the largest value in the set minus the smallest value. Now, if I have a list of values like this, uh, that's not ordered, like this one, we don't take the first and the last number. We take the largest minus the smallest. So in this data set, the smallest is 14. The largest is 96. We say 96 minus 14, and that gave us give us 82. So the the range for this set is 82. Now the first exercise for this unit or for this uh, week is exercise I data measures. Please do the exercise, and then in tomorrow's lesson we'll look at the the answers. Thank you very much for your time. Please remember to do your homework exercise.